everyone and welcome to our hump day lunch break. It is Wednesday, December 21st. I hope you all are getting ready for the holidays if you celebrate them and are having a great time getting ready for everything. Um, I'm just getting logged into my Facebook account here so I can see everything going on. And no, Cooper. So if you all haven't been on my videos before, my dog tends to like have this playtime when I am doing my lives. So I may have to, on occasion, tell him not to be doing things he's been doing. So, um, all right, I'm not seeing my feed here. So if you're here joining me today, let me know, say hi, tell me what you're having for lunch. I would love to know. Um, and I, I have to tell you, I'm a little bit under the weather, so my voice is kind of going. And um, I'll do the best as I can while I'm here. So let's just see here. Here we go. Here's the live. And all right. So today I have a quick little card for us. And I'm just going to say hello. Okay. So I have a quick little gift card for us. Um, you know, this is kind of the time of year that we tend to need a lot of gift cards. And uh, I just wanted to show you a very quick one to make and something that you can make a number of at one time. So here is our little gift card that we're going to be making. And we're going to be using our Scotty's Punch. Now this is available still. It is on sale until the end of the month. Um, but don't wait to get it because so many of the other things are going out from our um, holiday mini catalog. But this item is still available and it's $13 right now. And I did just check. It was still available. We're also going to be using the Gingham Designer Series paper. And this too is still available. Um, it's $18 for 48 sheets. I mean, it's a ton of stuff and just some great different gingham patterns, all different colors. It, this is an awesome stack of paper to have. There's a lot in there, and uh, you can use it for all different seasons. And I'm just trying to figure out what that was in there. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start this card. Um, I will have this posted on my website shortly after the video, and I'll have all the measurements there. Uh, there'll be links to my online store. So if you need any of these supplies, I'd love if you'd shop with me. Um, and also, if you're a part of my Ink Trails team, you will get a PDF file. It's posted to our Facebook group. We have an Ink Trails Facebook group. And I post tutorials there that I share with my customers when they have classes. I share those with my team for free. So if you ever thought about becoming a demonstrator, let me tell you, you get some perks for being on my team. Um, also, there is an awesome sign up uh, bonus in January and that starts with our celebration kickoff so that will be coming so next week I will be uh, doing a catalog kind of preview I'm going to be sharing my I can't open the catalog for you but I'm going to be sharing my pre-orders with you so you get to see some of that stuff right away so just sharing that all with you tomorrow night during our Stampin Fun and more we're going to be making um, three more gift cards and you're going to have a lot of gift card ideas. Now you can use these for the holidays or you can use these for any time of the year as a thank you, as a birthday. These are great things to always have on hand. In fact, I tend to make a bunch of them and I leave my sentiment off. And then when I need it, I just grab my sentiment. And the one that we're going to be using today is my go-to greetings. I love this one because as a hello, just a note, thank you, uh, thinking of you, happy birthday. It covers a lot of things. So it's a great little sentiment set to have, especially if you have a stamp set that only has images. All right. The other thing we're going to be using is our layering circle dies and our mini cut and emboss machine. So let's get started on some of this. I'm going to move that aside right now, and I'm going to pull in a piece of soft seafoam cardstock. And this is 8.5 by 11. We're going to cut it down, and I'm going to show you how to make multiples of this so you can make more than one at a time. All right. So I'm going to just slide my paper in, and I am cutting along the 11-inch side at 3 and... Oops, what was my... Th three and a half. So let's go ahead and cut that down. So I've got one... And two. Okay. 
Now, I could necessarily make three right away, but I do want to have a piece left over for so my belly bands. So I am just going to cut my two belly bands right now, and I'm going to do those at one inch. So I have two belly bands here. All right, and then I have a scrap piece. All right, so I'll put this aside. Now, on these three and a half by eight and a half pieces, I'm going to score. I'm going to score both at the same time. I probably could have done this before I cut. I just didn't think about it. Um, so you could score your eight and a half by 11 before you actually cut everything. So I'm going to score, <coughs> excuse me, my first one at two inches. All right. And then I'm going to slide this all the way up, and I'm going to score these at six inches. All right, and that's all we need for our trimmer. So let's pull that aside. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold along my score lines here. All right. Now, the larger piece here is going to be your um, pocket. Okay. And these two top flaps are going to be at the top flap. <laughs> and I just need to uh, line this one up. I didn't score that one very well. So let's just grab my bone folder here and we'll just fix that right there. I'm going to bring in a corner rounder. Now, if you don't have a corner rounder, we don't sell these anymore. But you can always use a um, circle punch and just round your corners. Or you can take your scissors and just round those corners just like that. <coughs> Okay, there we go. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in, I'm just going to use one of these for right now, but now you can see how you've done two. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull in two pieces of designer series paper. Now, the first one is measured at three and a quarter by uh, one and three quarters, and this one's three and a quarter by two and a quarter. So what's nice about this is it is a uh, four inch wide, piece right here so when you're cutting down your designer series paper if you cut a strip that is four inches wide from your 12 by 12 you can get a whole bunch of these like that all right the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my smaller piece here and I'm going to round my corners on here all right and I'm going to adhere that to my top flap so I'm going to use my seal here um, and the reason I'm using seals, I want this to be a strong adhesive. You could use your liquid glue, you could use your tear and tape, but you just want it strong because it's going to be opened a lot, so you don't want that to fall off. All right, next thing I'm going to do is, before I do anything else, I'm going to adhere my other piece of designer series paper. So notice that my top flap here and my bottom flap here, so I'm going to go ahead and when I do this piece, I'm only going to put adhesive on the three sides. And that's very important because we're going to put a little notch in there for our gift card holder. So we're going to go ahead and put this right on here. Just like that. All right. Now I'm going to bring in my layering circles here. And I'm just going to grab one of my smaller circles. I'm going to grab this one right here. Okay. And then you can use this, a punch is the same, we'll do the same thing. And I'm going to pull in my little mini die cut machine here. And let me tell you, in January, there's a special mini die cut machine that's going to be available for people. I can't wait. I'm actually going to purchase one. Even though I have one, I have to have one, the new ones. It is Boho Blue. So yeah, I have to have that. All right. So now I'm going to take my... Um, card holder here and I've got that bottom one I'm just going to put my circle just like that just kind of eyeball where my center is and I'm just going to run this through real quick now because this is only three and a half inches wide I know that will, it will fit through my die cut machine here all right so I'll just pull that back out right. and I ran it back and forth just because I'm going through two layers all right, now all the other pieces I've already die cut, just to save us some time here. That and I know I'm losing my voice, so. All right. So the next thing we do is we can actually form our pocket. So I'm just going to take my adhesive right here. And again, this is my strong adhesive. This is our Seal Plus. And I went over just a little bit, so I'm just going to curl those pieces of tape that's sticking out just inside. And I'm going to put that right in oh, before I do that. 
I just realized I forgot to tell you about a piece that you need. You need one piece of basic white. And this basic white should be three and a quarter inches or three and a quarter by two inches. Um, that piece is a little bit small. So let me grab another piece here. Hopefully I have a piece, a scrap piece here. Um, okay, I don't. Let me just grab a piece. I didn't, I didn't have that ready. Just grab a piece of basic white here. I'm going to grab my trimmer and I'm going to cut a piece that is um, two inches. Let my trimmer blade go here. Two inches and then by three and a quarter. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on this. Now this is the piece where you could write a sentiment, whatever you want, or stamp something. I am just going to put it right in here, just like that. And then I'm gonna fold this up, all right? So what that does is it forms my little pocket. Now I can take my gift card and just slide that right in. So my gift card is all set and ready to go. And if I wanted, like I said, I could write a sentiment there. I could even put a piece of white here and write a sentiment. Um, uh oh, what did I do there? I cut my piece stone too low. All right. <laughs> well, anyways, that's not going to show. We're going to be hiding that. So if you went down a little bit too far with your circle, no worries. We're going to be fine. We're going to take our strip, our one inch strip here, and I'm just going to wrap this around. Now, I don't want this to be tight because I want this to be able to sl slide off. And I'll take my adhesive here. And it's all about hiding our boo-boos, right? So this will slide on and off. But notice that covers that little piece right there. I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now the next thing I did is I took my layering circles and I used um, these two right here. And I cut my garden green and my whisper white. Or not my whisper white, my basic white. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere those two together, just like this. I'm going to take some dimensionals and I'm going to put this right on my belly band. I want to make sure that I am actually on my belly band because if I put dimensionals on here, I'm not going to be able to slide that on and off. So now I'll just put this right on there. So again, that little boo-boo is all hidden. Okay, next thing, I'm going to grab another piece of our gingham paper, and I'm going to pull in this punch now. So this Scotty's punch is so cute. Now, the stamp set that coordinates with it is not available anymore, but this punch is. And you don't need, um, really, the stamp set to do this. This is such a cute little dog. And you can have him go this way, or you can flip him over and have him go this way, whichever is your preference. I kind of like the little diagonal um, pieces there, so I'm going to go this way with it. I do need to grab a piece of ribbon here and I'm going to use the whatever ribbon I can find. I have my whole ribbon stash here but it's about to fall over so um, I guess we'll just use our red. Well I don't want to use I don't want to use red because I don't want to make it a Christmassy card. Uh, so let's go with our, <laughs> I thought I had my stuff all on hand here, but I don't. Okay. We're just going to go ahead with a piece of soft sea foam. What I did on my original one, this is the red and green, uh, ribbon from our mini catalog. And then I'm just going to make a small little bow here. Okay. All right, so that bow is kind of big, so I just need to tug it down. Make a small little bow here. And just pull tightly, just to make it all snug. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull those tails down. Okay, 
I just did this a little bit ago. I don't know why I'm bow challenged right now, but apparently I am. Okay, let's try this again. Let's do it this way. Okay. So now that side is way too big. So we need to make that a little smaller. Give me a little tug here. And I want to make this just a tad smaller. Now, in the punch, you actually have a little ribbon. So you could actually make it out of paper if you didn't have ribbon on hand. So you're covered there. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to trim my tails off here. Give a little haircut. Making sure I'm using my ribbon scissors. And I'm going to bring in a glue dot. I'm just going to pull this off there for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and add my bow. So I'm taking my bow to my glue dot and I'm going to put it right on my Scotty. Now, what really makes this adorable is I have my embellishments here and I'm going to be using the classic matte dots. These come in white and cream, gray and black. So I'm going to take one of these little black ones here and I'm going to put it right on the nose of my little Scotty here. So there we go. A little black nose. If I wanted, I could actually put one on my eye, too, but I'm not going to do the eye. I think just the nose is cute enough. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to take this. I'm going to add two dimensionals to the back of it, and I'm going to pop it up off my circle there. Okay, now, depending on the size of your sentiment will depend on the size scrap that you need to stamp your sentiment. I happen to have a little half-inch strip here, and I'm going to be using, like I said, our go-to greetings. And you know what? I think we could even do happy birthday on this one. Yep, it'll fit. So we'll go ahead and grab happy birthday on this card. Let's see. Well, I don't think that will fit. Let's see. It's going to be close. Let's try it out. If not, we'll go back to thank you. So now um, on my website, the original post and everything is going to show this little thank you one. I'm going to pull in my black memento stamp here, my stamp pad. You could use a different color. And I'm just going to stamp happy birthday on there. Okay, that fit just fine. <clears throat> okay, and now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it right to the front. I could put it down on here, or I could put it right on my dog. I'm going to actually put it right on my dog. So I'm going to go ahead and use my adhesive, and I'm only going to do like the front half of it. Okay, because it's going to hang off a little bit. So we're going to put happy birthday right here. And there we go. So now we have an awesome little gift card holder quick and easy and like I said it just took a few minutes for us to do and I actually have my second one right here so now I have two at the same time see how quick those are let me know how you like this idea and if you do try it out share with me go ahead and go to our um, my stamp studio group and go ahead and take a picture I love to see what you all are doing and what you're making and let me know how you like this project let me know how it worked out for you so I'm going to take off right now and hopefully my voice comes back so we can meet live tomorrow night at 6 44 central um, take care and have a great rest of your week bye